Good morning, I'm Jennifer Smith from West Muskingum High School in partnership with the Muskingum County Library System. Today, we're going to learn about a fantastic tool available to all our Ohio students called iSearch. iSearch is available on the InfoHio website. I will show you how to access it and then we will explore the different tools that are available for your students there. So we begin by accessing www.infohio.org. To access iSearch, go ahead and open up infohio.org. iSearch allows you really easy access to your school's library catalog and the database collection provided there. First, I recommend logging into your school. If you don't have that login information, you can contact your building librarian or use the help tools provided for you. Once you've logged in, to access iSearch, scroll all the way to the bottom right of your page and there's this red iSearch button. From here, you can explore your library's contents. You can look what your library owns along with different digital collections of newspapers, magazines, and journals. So type your search phrases in. I recommend using a few search terms. There's no real right answer to it, so you just have to play with different words until you find what you're happy with. Once you're signed in, you have several tabs to choose from at the top. The tab that is active has a light yellow background. The My Library tab is bigger than the other tabs. It contains your school library print catalog and some other online sources, such as book flicks and your digital library collection. The Encyclopedia tab pulls specifically from encyclopedias. Basic Sources is usually the one that I am at most often. It's lower level reading material with factual information. The resources on this tab are usually just a few pages. They are brief and to the point. The advanced sources tab are where most of my high school students do their research. This tab contains peer-reviewed articles and different research studies. These articles are a little bit longer, but a great place to grab information for research. The STEAM tab is for science-related topics. It has different projects and hobbies along with video content that students can access here. It also has computer sources available. And the Open Access tab pulls from free government documents from a variety of specialized websites. Oftentimes you'll end up with a huge amount of results that you find as you search your terms. So use the limiters on the left to filter those down. The first one I usually start with is the publication date, specifically if I'm working with science or other topics that are very sensitive to the time that they were published, I can filter out a lot of my results by changing that window. Once you find an article that you think will meet your needs, rather than clicking on the title, I recommend using the view download button on the right of the article. That opens the article in a new tab. The abstract gives you a quick overview of what your article contains, and then you have some options to the left. This article has a PDF full text option. The other thing you might see is an HTML option. Go ahead and click on that to view your article. From here, you have several options to print or to save this article with a hyperlink. The buttons on the right will help you do those things. My favorite feature of iSearch is the citation tool, which is this yellow button. If you choose that, you have a window pop-up that gives you different ways to cite this article, depending on what your format is that your teacher wants you to use. My one caution is that this is a computer-generated citation, so you need to go through and fix a few little discrepancies um, as the computer generates it. So just really watch those citations. It's a good starting point, but there are a couple little hiccups that you'll need to go in and fix. iSearch is a fantastic tool. I recommend it to all my students as they're researching and looking for information. 
If you struggle, make sure you're reaching out to your building librarians. They're waiting to hear from you so that they can answer any questions you might have.